Did this John Deere look different just a second ago? We're gonna tell you more about that in today's video. Plus, we have some other fancy quick attach thing we're gonna show you a little bit later on. Folks, this right here could open up a whole new world of attachments for you, for you John Deere owners here. And what you're looking at is a conversion kit or an adapter. It goes from John Deere quick attach to skid steer quick attach. It makes the proprietary JDQA more like the universal, what you have over there on the summit. So what you see here is gonna be just out of the factory on the summit tractor on, um, you know, this is what you would order with Kubota, this is what you order with uh, Massey, Coyote, LS, Mahindra, pretty much everything else besides John Deere is gonna have, if not standard, at least an option to get the SSQA. Again, that's short for skid steer quick attach, and you wanna have one of these systems. It could be the, the SSQA, it could be the, underneath this, the JDQA, but you wanna have a quick attach. You go from your bucket to pallet forks, to a grapple, to a snow pusher, to a bale spear. You flip flop them all really quickly, 30 seconds. It's easy to do. This has a lot of pluses to it, has a couple minuses too. So I wanna take you through it, give you a good look at what it's all about as well. Okay, so why would you wanna get one of these things? Well, you have a JDQA and you want attachments that have an SSQA. And that could be because you found a good deal on Facebook or Craigslist. You know, there's gonna be just naturally more SSQA attachments out there than JDQA just because of the large swath of machinery that they cover. You gotta be aware that a lot of SSQA attachments are gonna be really heavy. I mean, originally this, well, I don't know, if, <laughs> I don't know if original is the right word, but it's very prevalent in the construction industry with skid steers and, and other heavy equipment. And so a lot of those attachments are gonna be too heavy for subcompact and small compact tractors. So you gotta, you gotta watch your weight. You know, another, another common example that you, you may run into is maybe you're just getting into the tractor world and you live in farm country or, or at least rural country and you have neighbors around you that you're good friends with and, and maybe you can borrow their attachments and you just had to get green, right? But they have something with an SSQA on there so you can get an adapter like this and you know, and, and borrow something off your buddy, that's okay too, it's a good use for it. Perhaps your last machine was SSQA and you really don't wanna get all new attachments to fit the JDQA, just get yourself an adapter and away you go. Or just yesterday, as a matter of fact, I, now I, I almost can't believe this, but a gentleman just recently bought a 1025R and he's not in love with it. And so he's also bought some John Deere quick attach attachments, but he hasn't picked them up yet from us, all right? And he's thinking, well, maybe I need to get one of these adapters because uh, I might be switching to an SSQA down the road. He's gonna get his stump bucket with SSQA on there. He's gonna get his snow pusher with SSQA on there. He's gonna get his pallet forks with SSQA on there. Get one of these adapters, use them on the 1025R for now. See if it grows on him or not. And if it does, fine, he's still in business. If it doesn't and he wants to switch to something with SSQA, He's got that option, he's set up. He's not gonna spend a lot of money selling all those attachments, probably losing some money selling, new, you know, buying new, selling used, and they have to get new attachments again for SSQA. Now that doesn't mean there's not downsides to this setup, and one of them is the fact that on a, on a small loader like this, it's gonna be taking away some of that lift capacity. The, well, there's two versions. The smaller one weighs almost 90 pounds. The bigger one, so, so this smaller one here is for the one and the two series loaders. And then the bigger version of this for the three, four, and five series John Deere loaders, that one weighs around 130 pounds. So you have to, you know, and the bigger ones, 130 pounds on a three, four, or five series is not a big deal. 90 pounds on a smaller tractor is a bigger consideration. And then the other consideration is the fact that you can see your original attachment plate was right here and it's pushed that out. Okay, so what is that? Four or five inches, something like that. It's pushing it out this way, further away from the loader end. And, and we've discussed before that the further away your load is from the base of the loader, and the same thing really goes for the three-point hitch, the less weight you're gonna lift up. And so, is it dramatic? No, but it is gonna have an impact in the wrong direction on lift capacity. Folks, I wanna take just a second to tell you about our channel sponsor, RimGuard. They are a liquid ballast solution. They line up with exactly what we do here on Good Works, which is talking about tractors and tractor safety. We see it as simple as this. If you own a tractor, you need RimGuard. In fact, some tractors include RimGuard as standard out of the factory. Liquid ballast is simply weight, all right? And this weight hides inside your tires. It stays there all the time. It's a safety concern because tractors are almost always too light and too tippy out of the factory. The number one attachment used by every tractor owner is their front end loader. So when you pick up something heavy on the front end, your back end wants to pick up off the ground. RimGuard liquid ballast helps keep your back end planted to the ground. 
But beyond safety, it's gonna help maintain traction because if those rear tires, those power driving tires are on the ground, you have traction to go where you need to, and you're gonna operate more efficiently because if those rear tires aren't on the ground, you're not gonna pick up as much as you need to or take it where you need to go. RimGuard is all natural. That means it's safe. It is the heaviest per gallon, all natural product on the market. It's not gonna freeze, it's not gonna corrode, and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. To find a dealer, visit RimGuardSolutions.com to make your tractor safer today. All right, so here's a visual, a good look. This is a JDQA, okay? You're gonna have, they kind of call it the two hooks on top, two pins on bottom. You got, on your attachment, hooks that sit down on these carrier brackets that they're called, and then the pins go through on the bottom down here. Maybe you can see it over this way, and then they're just gonna stay right in place there. So that's the hook and pin or the JDQA. And then you take a look over here, the SSQA, you're gonna have two flat plates, same kind of a, uh, you know there's a locking system there these are spring-loaded pins and and you can see them going down there they'll lock through a bottom lip on your attachment so um, a good look at the differences there and maybe give you a visual on what we're talking about folks take five seconds hit pause if you have not subscribed yet what are you waiting for it's completely free right down below hit that give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down and if you have something to add leave a comment down below too okay so i was talking earlier there's another front attachment here that's pretty darn slick and a lot of folks I send the links to them directly, but I haven't really covered it in video. They want this. And so it's gonna mount, they got a version either way, mounts on the skid steer quick attach or a JD quick attach. It's gonna have a front three point hitch on there. And basically, I think it's actually just a quick hitch that they welded to a plate and it's compatible with either one of these. So Big Tool Rack offers that. So if you wanna quickly and easily be able to pick up your three point attachments with your front end loader and move them around, you know, it can be challenging on the, on the back of your tractor on the three point. Quick hitches make great work of that, but if you don't have a hydraulic top link and well, I don't know. I guess it's just like the, the super duper convenience of having the hydraulics to be able to, to rock it back and forth with your loader, hook it up on there, move things around. Some folks will put like a landscape rake on, on their loader, they'll mount it right on here and then use that to, to really grade their driveway and smooth things out or their yard or other landscaping needs, I suppose. But you guys probably have other ideas of what you would do with it as well. And really, if you have a backhoe on the back of your tractor, you don't want to take that off you have a way then to utilize your front end loader with three point attachments on there without having to kind of go through the, the pain of the process of disconnecting that, taking it off, putting the three point back on and all that kind of stuff. So we don't sell those items ourselves. For that, you're gonna go right to Big Tool Rack's website. You can save 5% with code GWT on your orders that are placed over there. And that goes for not just this product, but their Big Tool Rack itself, which is pretty awesome, or any of the other goodies that they have. So folks, if you want one of these adapters, you can get that right from goodworkstractors.com. And if you're looking for all sorts of tractor attachments, we ship them all over the country, every day of the week, free shipping to 36 states. And if you enjoyed today's video, we wanna have you tag along, hit that subscribe button right down below, completely free. Leave a comment, give us a thumbs up. We're happy you're here. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.